nothing like throwing myself in the deep end, gonna do it. Been doing different style of training to what I would have liked, but hey ho, let's give it a go. <laughs> So basically the situation with short course racing was at the beginning of this year, it might have even been the end of last year, I was contacted by BTF about potentially doing some short course racing. They knew very early on in my triathlon journey I'd expressed some interest so they were kind of just following up on that saying they thought I maybe had some potential so did I want to do some short course racing which I said yes absolutely definitely something that I'm looking at, I'd love to give it a go. So it actually worked out quite well because it meant the early part of this year, I could focus a bit more on doing some short course stuff. So we'd had a Z Pro series where I'd been doing some good Swift racing. I had Challenge Miami, which was a shorter distance race. Um, leading into Challenge Miami, I'd found out about potentially doing the arena games, which was like, yeah, I want to do that. And also I'd found out I'd qualified for the Olympic trials or the selection trials for the 1500 meter freestyle. So everything tied in quite nicely to do some more intense short style training for these events. Um, and it just set me up quite well for those. Things were starting to get better. So we decided we want to go out to our normal training destination, Club of Santa in Lanzarote and do a training camp. could do some real short course skill stuff with the potential of doing some racing in Lisbon and Leeds. So that was basically my focus of go and do some skills on transitions, getting used to my road bike, blah, blah, blah. Pretty much when we got to Lanzarote, British Triathlon informed me that it was gonna be highly unlikely that I would get on the start lines for Lisbon and Leeds purely because of the situation where there's been a lack of racing, all the athletes want to race, so many nations need their athletes to compete to get their Olympic slots. I was going to be so far down a wait list that me getting on the start line with zero points in the world um, rankings was going to be really, really difficult, unlikely. So we made the decision then to switch my training focus back to middle and long course with the ultimate goal of being Kona at the end of the year. I've been here for now five weeks with that focus just getting my training in, building up that endurance again, so I have a good base for the year and for those middle and long distance races, which is now where we are now, 10 days out from Leeds, being told by now I'm on the start line. I can be on the start line, I'm on it. So that is why I haven't done a huge block of focus training for short course, even though I've got the short course race in 10 days time. So since the Olympic swimming trials, basically did the race, came straight home, packed up all my stuff and was flying to Lanzarote really early that morning. So I had like three hours sleep before getting on the plane. Um, have been at Club de Santo in Lanzarote since then. So for the last five and a bit weeks, I've been here doing a really solid block of just rebuilding up my endurance across, well, swim was already there, but across bike and run doing what's needed to be a middle and long course athlete, starting to feel fit again, can do some big training days and not feel absolutely ruined at the end of it. I feel like ready to go again. I can do a long ride and actually feel like I can do a brick run and feel good to do it rather than thinking, hell no, I'm not doing it. So endurance is definitely there. So that's a good box ticked. Um, and I feel like it's something that needed to be done regardless of the short course situation. So 
yeah, I'm feeling really good. This is obviously my happy place to come and train. It's really, really tough riding and running in the wind here, but it makes you strong. So I'm feeling good after the camp I've had so far. Okay, so prep for Leeds started today, day one. Got a WhatsApp message this morning saying you're on the start line for Leeds. So a bit of a spanner has been thrown into the mix today. My whole training plan has been middle to long distance focused um, since I've been here in Lanzarote for the last five weeks. And I had wanted to do some short course racing after the arena game, so I was hoping to race um, in Lisbon last weekend. I was literally told so last minute I was on the start line that we just logistically couldn't make it work. So I had kind of put that to bed um, for a while because I was like, right, well, we'll focus on that a bit later on down the line. We'll, we'll go back. A lot of middle and long distance racing is happening now. Um, switch the focus to that. So haven't done any transition practice, haven't done any mount dismount work, any short speed stuff. I've got a week and a half, 11 days till the race. Um, so I'm just waiting to see a bit of an updated training plan to work on those things. Because I want to do the race, but also don't want to look like an idiot. So um, yeah. I need to change my plan. I did a swim this morning, which was pretty much my planned swim session anyway. And then this afternoon, I spent a good couple of hours just doing turnarounds in the road, cornering, U-turns, trying to do it as well as I can, having never done any of these skills before. We are working on going round anything but a straight line fast as hell. Um, that's the plan got my I mean serious business Oakley's on so you can see everything so no excuses for being Now my baby wants to hold me I love my fans, don't need no friends I got my homies Thought I could trust you, I find out you tried to zone me I'm number one up on that court I'm Nick McGrady The first one in, the last one now can't call me I've never done this before, ever Okay Don't judge me day one. Tomorrow we'll do a bit more, probably every single day until Leeds we'll do a bit more with the ultimate goal of just not looking that bad out there. Um, no, I'm sure it'll be fine. I actually was really pleasantly surprised with how I got on today. I didn't feel like I was that bad and um, had some film crews out here actually filming me doing this for the first time, which if you want to apply pressure on yourself, have people with cameras filming you trying to do a skill you've never done before in your life um, and make sure you don't get it wrong. So I feel like that was a good way of almost applying the pressure that a race is going to have and trying to do skills under pressure. So yeah, 
not bad for day one of trying to learn some skills. So I'm doing hard efforts on the bike, hard efforts on the run, basically in one session. So it's like a transition session. So I'll have hard effort on the bike, do a dismount, do a transition, hard effort on the run, back onto the bike for a bit of easy, then hard effort on the bike again. At the end of my hard run, we can reset the transition and then I can basically run up as if I've come out of the swim, put my helmet on, mount the bike and go and do an easy bike, then back into the hard bike again, hard run again, and basically I'm gonna do that three times through. So I should get at least three times going through the transition, practicing it. Um, I'm just gonna try and take my time with it, learn as much as I can in the process and try and not injure myself in the process. some racing planned in which I still intend on doing which is and has always been the PTO race in Holcomb on the 4th of July that's been booked in then I started looking and there is the 70.3 European champs in Elsinore which I really want to go and race there and really recently another PTO race has been set up which is um, the Eton triathlon with active training world which is going to be the weekend after Leeds so all going well, I would do Leeds and then do those three middle distance races. So that's kind of the short term racing plan. Unless something massively drastic happens in Leeds, I don't know if there'll be any more short course racing this year just because Kona was the big goal at the end of the year. So that's how it looks at this minute, but things seem to change daily in triathlon at the moment. So keep your eyes peeled. <laughs> Well, I didn't do anything drastically wrong in that session, which is a good sign. It was hot. I don't think it'll be that hot in Leeds. It'd be nice if it was. I might be the only one prepared for heat. I felt each mount of the bike got better. So the third one, I was like, that's how I need to do it. Hands on handlebars, step on, get on. Running felt good. We threw in the hill, which in Leeds, I'm gonna basically dismount from the bike and run straight up a hill. So I wanted to practice going fast up a hill and then settling into the pace that I want to run at, which, I mean, the pace is going to be dictated by the girls I'm running with. And if you want to come anyway, you've just got to run with that pace. So I just need to go with whatever's happening. Biking felt good. I can ride a road bike. I felt good. I put some turns into the course, put some climbing into it, some descending. Dismount is the easy bit. <laughs> so I feel like I got that sorted no problem and I'll be wearing a tri suit so I won't have to run in bib shorts and a jersey which will be a bit nicer as well and I won't be running in um, gloves either because I won't wear gloves for the race so yeah I feel a lot more confident from that just over a week so when I get home I'll just keep refreshing ticking over those skills um, to make sure that I get it right and I'll be able to recce the course when I get to Leeds as well, so I'll make sure I do that. But we actually had a little look at the course this morning. I'm gonna actually, someone's ridden it with a GoPro, I think, so I'm gonna watch that. But I think it's slightly less technical than I had first thought. So that's good news. So the main goals for Leeds are to, one, get round safely, because I've got a lot more racing planned this year. Um, just find out what it's all about. 
um, get stuck into the race. I get to actually get in the mix with the top short course girls to so just soak up the experience. I know Leeds is a massive race in the UK. It gets a lot of coverage and there'll be an age group race as well. So there should be a lot of people out there on the course. So yeah, it'll just be great to get out there and race, learn some new skills see how I stack up and I'll hopefully have some fun as well. Okay, thanks for watching this video. Just a bit of an insight into what's been happening with my racing, obviously with Leeds coming up. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel as always and I will see you in Leeds. I think you can watch it on BBC of some form. We'll try and share how you watch it, but yeah, you will be able to watch me racing on home soil, so that's pretty exciting.